Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. We've got a really exciting video today. We have got a brand new game that's just been released and I'm one of the content creators and it's called Once Human, developed and published by Starry Studios not even 48 hours ago. It is a free to play game, free to download and there's no pay to win BS in it either. So I highly recommend you download it. Come hang out with us. We're all in world 010002. Lovely to have you on board. Thought I'd make a very quick video just to show you some quick tips for beginners that I think would really benefit you. So the first one here is about the bus. The bus shows up in random roads and it does its same route over and over again. You can go into the bus once a day and collect the loot inside. It doesn't wait for you, you do have to run up to it before it jumps up again and it does spawn some enemies that are easily outrunnable or if you do a bit of a shimmy shimmy you can absolutely kill them with a little crossbow too at early levels. Highly recommend you use that if you see it, take the daily reward. Emotes and expressions, you can tailor which ones you want on your wheel for like a quick key button or a quick key bind. Now to do this, if you press O and open up your cradle, to the right hand side of the top menu there is cosmetics. However, on cosmetics there is also a side tab on the top left called expression. This will show you all your expressions and emotes that you've unlocked. You can unlock certain ones during certain rifts and things like that. And all you need to do is drag and drop them onto the wheel to the right hand side and they're all numbered for you. So when you come out and you've settled all of them, when you go and you hold down the X button on your keyboard, you can then press the button or click on the certain expression you want to do. Nice and simple, quick little fun thing. Teleport, get your teleport on. So any of the major cities that you go to, you can activate the teleport and in the cities like Deadville, for example, you can also change your world. So if you spawn in on world four, for example, and your friends are all on world two, run over to Deadsville and use the teleporter directly to go to the other worlds. Also around the world, you can see there's these little pylons and some of them might be blue if you've activated them or they're gray if you haven't. I recommend always going and trying to activate as many as you can in the areas that you're hanging out in. At least then you can use them as quick teleports. Now you can go to a teleporter if it's close by and use that to teleport to other places. You can also use your home as a beacon. You can fast teleport to your home and you can also teleport from your home to other places like Deadsville or the other towns or to the other teleport pylons. Teleport to your friends, my friends. Your backpack is your friend. If you are going towards some really good loot or you're actually getting close to a deviant or something similar to that effect, you'll start to notice your backpack starts to blink a yellow and it'll start to get faster and faster the closer and closer you get towards something. It's almost like a homing beacon. As you can see, I can also click by pressing Q and that's gonna show me where some of the loots are that I might be interested in. However, if I go up this ramp, kill a few things as you do, you'll notice that there's this little loot crate next to me and now that I'm standing right next to it, you can see as well that it's really flashing yellow, indicating that this is a thing. So these things you beat up, you can shoot or whack with your, your mallets or whack with your, your bats like I am. And you open it up and they're going to have some really good loot in there, some stardust and things like that. Highly recommended to go and find them. Don't ever ignore your backpack. It's going to get you to some wicked loot. So always keep an eye on that. Your motorbike. Everyone needs the motorbike. It's a faster way to travel around and adventure and also to escape some things if you're getting into a hairy situation. So what you'd need to do is open up your cradle once you've leveled up a couple of times and here you can see on one of the tabs I need to unlock the garage. Once you've unlocked it you can go into building mode by pressing B onto your screen or wherever you've put your base and you can build the garage. However once you've built the garage you do need to head over to the garage. There's a little screen that you can go up to and when you click on it, it tells you all the items that you need in order to make the motorbike. Now once you've built it, you can come in here again to repair it, to refuel it. You can come into here as well to put stickers on, to change the looks, even upgrade it so you can have like more petrol space or make it speedier, things like that. So your motorbike is your friend and whenever you want to bring it out, you just press G on your keyboard and it will automatically spawn wherever you need it. If it ends up going into the water, just run a little ways away from it and then press G again and it will respawn back out. So there you go guys and gals, just a few little tips there to help you along as you're beginning your journey in Once Human. Please comment down below if there's other videos you might like. I am going to do some tutorials about certain areas and where to find the loot crates and things like that. But I will see you in the next one. Have a great time and I'll see you in Once Human.